Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Piper. Today is Monday the 20th. We're leaving tomorrow the 21st for Arizona and I think we're gonna be gone for like over two weeks. So I really need to pack and I don't, I honestly don't even remember the last time that I packed for, or well, I guess the last time that I packed was for when I went to Florida, but that was like a weekend long trip. Like I don't even remember the last time I packed for like a long trip. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just do my packing. I kind of have like an idea of what I want to bring, but not really because like the temperature where I am right now, it's 26 degrees, which is cold. And then where we're going in Arizona, it's 60 degrees. And I'm pretty sure that it is like warm or like warmer during the daytime and then it's cold at night. So I just, I just don't know what to bring you guys. So I'm going to do some packing. I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to do a carry on and then my Patagonia bag to check and if you guys need like a good like big bag these like patagonia bags i'll put the thing for them down below like they're literally the best bags ever they just hold up so well and they fit so much stuff and i just love them so much and then they have like smaller versions too which i really like the small versions i kind of want to get one that you can use as like a carry-on or something like that and i'll probably bring like a bag or like a backpack or something just to put like my computer and stuff like that in that i'm going to use on the plane i think the flight I don't know how long the flight is. I want to say that it's kind of short, but then with like the time change, it's different. It's a six hour flight, but I think that that's with the time change because Arizona, I found out, is two hours ahead of Massachusetts. Wait, two hours ahead. So if it's 8.39 here, then it's 6.39 there which is kind of weird. That's like so crazy to me. I'm just gonna do my packing now. I just don't know where to start. Like I know that I wanna bring, or well, I'm just gonna start with underwear because I feel like underwear is the easiest thing to bring. It's the most simple. Just get enough for how many ever days you're there. And that's always easy to knock out. And then I think I'll do like socks and bras and then, and then I'll do t-shirts. T-shirts are really easy too. Um, I do know that we have like a washer dryer there. so. I can always wash my clothes. I really don't want to bring a lot of stuff because it's just annoying to carry. I always need to look at like a calendar just to see what days we're going. I always like take the calendar like that and just like look at it and say like, oh, like this is for this day. This is for this day. This is for this day. And that's just kind of how I like work it out in my brain just to like make sure that I have everything. What I really like about this bag is so obviously you can put stuff in here. And then I really do like these like, um, zipped parts up here so i'll usually put like um bras underwear bathing suits stuff like that up here just so that it's easier to get to and so i'm gonna do my t-shirts because i feel like that's pretty easy and so i kind of just need t-shirts for sleeping in and t-shirts if i want to wear them like during the day or something so eight t-shirts i feel like eight t-shirts is good i feel like packing for the whole two weeks that's what i would usually do but I feel like that's just too much, especially if we have a washer dryer. I feel like I would rather wash it. So the way that I'm packing them is I kind of just like keep them folded and just like put them in like that and put them like all on one side. So then I have this space to put other stuff in and then I can put stuff on top. I try to keep it like as neat as I can just because I feel like that's easier. These two pairs of pants, these ones and these ones, I know that I want to bring them. So I'll bring these and then... I'm going to leave these out so then I can find shirts to wear with these because I feel like for me the best thing to do is usually I just will like throw a bunch of different items in and I kind of like don't make outfits but I feel like it's been really helpful just to like make outfits and like whether it's like trying them on or like I know that that outfit looks good together so then it's a lot easier when I'm trying to pick something out to wear because I already know like it works or like it goes with each other and like I like the way that it looks. For the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do bathing suits. I think I'm just going to go with five bathing suits for right now and then see if I want to add more. So I think I'm honestly just going to go with kind of like what I know I already like just so that it's easier on me and I don't have to try to figure that out and like try them on because I really don't feel like trying them on right now. I found that like being able to like have the outfit already ready or well this isn't an outfit but a bathing suit like having it already ready and like planned out is so much easier because then i don't have to waste time like trying it on and stuff like that because 
I like take a lot of time like trying stuff on if I don't know if it like looks right or not. So right now I just have three bottoms and five tops, which I think I will leave it at that and then come back to it if I think that I should add more. I actually didn't end up adding bathing suits. I ended up taking out two tops. So now I just have three sets just because I think it's gonna be colder than I thought it was gonna be. It's like I definitely was thinking it was a lot warmer than it probably is. I think that for like sweaters, I'm gonna bring this one, this one. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. Like I feel like this is so easy, but I make it so much more complicated. I just feel like for these types of things, I like want to dress nice and like not wear the same thing, but I always end up wearing the same things. So I am still gonna bring cute clothing to try to push myself to wear that clothing and not just wear the same thing every day but we'll see what happens. This is what I do. Like I say like, oh, I should do this one thing and then I start doing something else and then I'm like, oh, I need to do this or I should do this category, whatever, blah, blah. Switch lanes again and do my, ooh, what about pajama pants? I think I'm gonna bring just these like, I don't know, just like these like big like flannel pants because they're pretty thin, so I think that they'll be good, or I could just like throw them on or something. So I'm gonna bring these. I'm gonna bring these, because since it does get cold at night, you guys, these are by the brand PJ Salvage. I think that's how you say it, but these are actually like the most comfortable pants. Like they are so soft and so cozy. I kind of really wanna bring my Bruins flannel pants, but I can't decide if this is like very unnecessary. I think I might as well just bring them, right? I don't even know what the sports teams are in Arizona, but maybe people love the Bruins. And the next thing I'm gonna do is leggings. I'm gonna bring these, which I actually think are super cute, just like this like color. I can't decide how many pairs of leggings to bring, but like if we do hiking, since Arizona apparently has really cool hiking, I would wear leggings for that. Oh, I think I might bring these leggings. And I actually really like the print of them. They're like this. They're like this. I don't know even what you call the print. So you're going to bring just a black pair of leggings. I think I'm just going to stick with another pair of black leggings. I'm also going to bring these. Print is, but I'm going to bring these because I like the feeling of them. Like they're very like soft. Like I feel like I'm going to like pack way too much. And have way too much even though i'm like laying it all out i feel like i'm definitely gonna have way too much i don't know why this is so difficult but i'm gonna look up outfits in arizona in december because maybe this will give me like a good idea jeans and leggings seems to be what people are wearing so i'm on the right track right for jeans i think i'm gonna bring just a classic pair of black jeans i'm gonna bring these jeans because these are some of my new favorite pairs or one of my new favorite pairs how many pairs of jeans do i bring how many sweatshirts do i bring you hey guys this is so bad i actually changed my mind and i'm gonna do long sleeves now i think that i'll bring this one because i think this one's cute just this like white long sleeve looks like that Ooh, i kind of want to wear this one just because i haven't even worn it yet which is kind of sad because i've had it for like a while now but it's just like a simple like blue long sleeve okay so i've had this bodysuit and the tag is still on it because i haven't worn it yet but i feel like this is like the perfect time to wear it i think it's so cute just this like long sleeve with like this like gray and then like the floral on it i think it's so cute you guys so I'm going to bring this to wear. This weather thing is really bothering me now because I feel like it's actually cold. I just don't know what 60 whatever degrees feels like. I can't remember. I'm not going to pack anything away because I'm not sure about any of this stuff yet anymore. So just asked about it and I feel like we're going for more of like loungy type vacay. So nothing like crazy. So basically just what I wear. So I'm going to bring sweatpants, leggings, maybe a few jeans, some cute outfits nice pair of shoes i feel like i should do sweatshirts but i kind of don't really want to i feel like this is going to take me a while so i'm thinking maybe i should bring some hats i kind of want to bring this one i bought this one forever ago and i wore it or i brought it when i went to iceland and i have some pictures in it and it's actually super sick so <laughs> ah, you guys should i bring this honestly should i bring this like oh I don't know about that, but like if I'm just like sitting by the pool 
wearing this is that cool oh i forgot like this is actually like i mean not my ponytail in but it's actually super comfy mad comfy <laughs> ew i feel like i can't really see you guys <laughs> look at this picture i just took with my dog <laughs> <laughs> i feel like he's like the fuck's wrong with you look at his he looks crazy in the eyes it's really like fucking weirdo i don't know if i'll bring that i feel like that's a bit much i always do this i always take so fucking long to pack i'm like crazy i think i'm gonna bring oh i actually have this hat now what should i bring this hat if you're watching which you probably aren't this is good so what does it say summer stole oh summer state of mind is there snow in arizona does arizona get snow do they even have mountains is that dumb or like do they have mountains i don't know i'm really hoping that i can go to the grand canyon really want to go to the grand canyon if I do, I'm promising myself right now, I will make a video of it because when else am I gonna be able to go to the Grand Canyon? Hmm? When else am I gonna have the chance to go see, what is that? Is it a river, a valley? I know it's like huge rocks. I've seen pictures of it, it looks insane. And I feel like it'd be like crazy to see in person. Just like, I don't know. Cause like we don't have that in Massachusetts. Like, I've been to Colorado and I've been to Wyoming. Well, I guess Colorado is pretty similar to Arizona with like those like big like red rocks. Like those are really cool. Um, oh, I've been to Idaho. I feel like that's even more similar. Like they have like really big rocks like everywhere. It's like a desert type feel. I'm definitely gonna bring sneakers for or like yeah like whatever the whatever you want to call these for hiking. Oh, I need to do accessories like jewelry. I need to bring toiletries. I need to bring um, like camera stuff or like tech stuff, whatever you want to call it. I need to bring more shoes, no dresses, no skirts, more jeans, more sweaters. Or I feel like two sweaters is good. Or should I bring more? I'm not really like a sweater type gal. So I know in my head that I'm just going to end up wearing like sweatpants and sweatshirts probably or something like that i don't know but i really want to branch out do something different do something new i need to find shirts for that for those pants i think that's kind of like the gist of it like long sleeves and jeans sweaters and jeans comfy pants leggings sweatshirts sweatpants oh i need to get sweatpants i cannot forget sweatpants i'm glad that i got my underwear in because i remember when i went to colorado i forgot underwear which i don't know how that happens but i literally forgot underwear i need to bring my airpods which are in my bag i need to get those out i need to bring my bows for the airplane maybe i'll bring a speaker for like if i take a shower i want to listen to music or if i just want to calm down put some music on or if i'm making eggs play some country music i don't know my mom said that she's bringing a parka so that means that it's cold so maybe i'll bring a jacket Oh, maybe I'll bring a jean jacket. I honestly haven't worn one of those Johns in a long time. I'll bring bags because Ella got me a super, super cute bag that I actually kind of want to bring that too. So maybe I'll bring two bags. Should I bring this hat? You guys, I don't know. Oh wait, that's Wyoming. Never mind. I thought it was Arizona. And I was about to say, what a coincidence. What do I wear on the airplane? I mean, my airplane fits. That's going to be a whole nother process. I feel like I'm kind of just distracting myself at this point talking to the, the freaking camera because i'm avoiding packing and stuff so i think i'm gonna cut this video right here i'll make some videos while i'm in arizona so you guys can see what i'm wearing and what i actually ended up packing so i just noticed i've had these sweatshirts or well this one's jacks i bought these sweatshirts a while ago like probably what like last summer yeah because they're 2020 but anyways i just realized that this is for east ham they both are whatever and they have like a little star on them which is where I'm assuming that's where East Ham is on like the map of the Cape. I never knew that. Wait, that's actually so cute. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to end my video here because I think that I've spent more time talking to the camera instead of actually packing. So I really need to get it together and pack this all up so that I'm not stressed tomorrow because we are flying out tomorrow and I don't want to be packing tomorrow because I always do that. I always pack at the last minute and then I get super stressed out and like, I don't know, I just can't function. And then I just like throw like a ton of shit in there. And then I end up having like shit outfits, even though I'm probably gonna be wearing not cute outfits and just comfy outfits the whole time. But that's probably fine with me as long as it looks good. And as long as it like goes together, I mean, it's fine. So I am going to go 
and figure this out i hope that it helped you a little bit if you're going to arizona if you want to watch this video if you're gonna to go to arizona in december my understanding is it's still cold but not as cold as massachusetts and it gets really cold at night because you're in the desert correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's what it is thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys tomorrow